This is PC747 with the Next Up YouTube channel. So I want to do this tutorial because some of you guys are coming over from Robinhood, like myself, and you picked up TD Ameritrade. And with TD Ameritrade, it's actually a, I feel like it's a better overall app, but it have more, like a lot more stuff going on. And it can be a little bit intimidating. With Robinhood, what they did very well is they made trading simplify. You was able to go in the app, you was able to pick what you want to trade, and that was it. But with TD Ameritrade, there are just so many more options, so many more choices. And I can see if you're, you know, not expecting that, it can get you caught up. So what I'm going to do is a quick tutorial, just kind of walk you through real quick how to just make a simple trade. Now, I'm assuming you guys have already set everything up. You already ran through the app. You already got your bank account set up and you transfer funds. But real quick, before I go ahead and get started with the tutorial, I want to a full disclosure first. I apologize for the old school method of holding my phone and recording, but I'm literally in a hotel right now as, you know, my company decided that they wanted me to TDY me to another location and I have very minimal equipment. The second thing, speaking of being in a hotel, you know, I got the sun kind of beaming down literally like on the, on the side I'm at. So you may hear some popping and clicking because where I'm at in Houston right now, you know, it's kind of warming up. And that's just the building kind of settling in and kind of doing this thing. So let's go ahead and get to tutorial. All right. So I'm going to cover, like I said, just basic trade and just keep it simple. So let's go ahead and get in. Oh, let me go back. I'm trying to do this one handed and I think I clicked the wrong app. So here we go. So I've already logged in and I've already hit in transfer some funds so I can go ahead and buy something. So the first thing you're going to want to do is trade. Now when you click on trade, you're only going to be able to buy at, um buy stock. You're not going to be, or options if you're into that. But you're not going to be able to use this to um buy mutual funds. In fact, after I finish this, I will go over a tutorial on how to buy mutual funds. Now, we're going to go ahead and do uh, Delta Airlines, you know, right now the airlines are at a spot where, you know, they're they're a good buy right now. I'm thinking they're they're cheap, and you know they're going to get better. They're going to go back up, especially when we get out of this whole coronavirus. It's the first thing people going to want to do. They're going to want to get out and they're going to want to travel. So now, when you first look at it, it's normally have it at the action that buy, and I want to say this type is it's going to probably be set to limit unless you go in there and change that. So let me give you what limit means. Limit means basically, so like a couple of weeks ago, really, I guess I could say even as early as last week, when we started seeing the uh, stocks plummeting, you know, what you can do is you can set, this is the level I want you to buy at and don't buy until it hit there. So that way you don't have to keep looking at it. You can let the stocks plummet to the, the level you're ready to buy. And that's what you can buy it. The only problem with that is if the stocks don't drop to that level, it's never going to buy. So if you want to buy right now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click, click that menu and make sure you hit market. Basically, market means it's going to buy the market at that volume. The second thing. Now, again, some of the things I've changed because I was able to go and change the uh, my default settings. But normally this default is actually set on 100 and because they, they expect a lot of people to be trading at a higher level but what you're going to want to do you know again to for a lot of you guys out there that's like robin hood you just want to buy a single or maybe a couple stocks or a couple shares of stock you know uh at a, a level that you can afford so what i'm going to go ahead and do i want to buy one share for it right now you know that'd be 35 dollars, and it's going up and down right now so 35 dollars is what's going to be. I know I have enough. Uh, could it tell you on the bottom? I have $125 for available for trading. So all I got to do is hit review order. It's going to show you your order and hit place order. And you're going to put your password. So give me a second to log in. And once you do that, it's going to fill that order. So that is a simple way to get about trading or buying a stock. Now, let me see if I can go ahead and go back real quick and see if we can change what you see. So, so actually, let me go back. So at the, at the main menu, if you go to dashboard, if you hit the three 
buttons on the bottom you can go to settings and this is where you can kind of change the way your trades look so let me go to trade real quick and you can set your default right here and this I actually changed that to zero like I say it was originally set to 100 change that to zero Wait, okay uh, it was originally set to limit I changed it to market if you change it to market again it it'll be right where you need to be very similar to uh, Robin Hood and then you got options or action buy sell whatever I'm going to go ahead and keep that on buy for right now because I'm not looking to sell anything right now and that will be your default action for right now so that will be how you would set up your default on that so that when you go back to buy or trade I'm sorry they call it trade which is you can go So let me go back to it'll look like that so you see how my action showed by as default type is market and shares at zero so if you set it to that that is very similar to how it would look when you buy on Robinhood now the second tutorial I'm going to do is for those that want to do mutual funds because for right now as of the time I'm filming this you are not able to buy mutual funds on the app so what I'm going to go ahead and do let's see if you allow me to log in and I actually had to so sorry for that I had to um, put in my security question but I actually had to see, go through a tutorial to see how to do this at first <laughs> so let me go ahead and straighten my camera back up or my phone back up so I'm holding with my hand so what you're going to want to do if you want to buy mutual funds is actually not going to be under trade because that's the one thing I thought of. Actually, it is under trade. I'm sorry. Go to trade and you can only do this from the actual website. You're probably better off doing it from a computer. Click on mutual funds. And if you know the mutual funds you want to buy, you should be able to enter the symbol. Now, if you don't know where it's, what it is, there's two ways you can do that. You go to symbol lookup and you can kind of uh choose what you're looking for you can google it and they have another area where you can go to i believe it's research and ideas and mutual funds overview and it can, it'll give you all the mutual funds that you look at, like a bunch of them but i know the mutual fund i want to buy um basically the mutual fund i bought before was american gross aggressive growth stock mutual funds I actually bought some of those like a long time ago and it just did very well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and actually type this so you can see it. So I Googled it before. There it is. There's a symbol, AGTHX, American Funds, Growth Funds of America. And basically for those who, I think a lot of you guys already know, if you're trading, you know what's going down. But even for those that don't, the difference between a mutual fund and a stock is this. A stock is single stock. So if that one stock plummet, every you lose your money. With a mutual fund is a bunch of other stocks. So where one stock may be falling, another one is going to rise. So they're going to slow your your fall down. Is actually a safer way to tr to actually buy and invest. So this is actually something I highly recommend if you really look into try to make money and invest your money in something that's more, let's say, secure. Because with stocks again. You know, yes, you can make money real quick, but you can also lose money if if that company just kind of just plummet. Now, right now, to be honest with you, this is definitely a, a good buying time for, you know, a number of different. Um, a number of different things you can buy in, you know, I just feel like right now is a good time to buy in stock and mutual funds, especially stocks. You know, uh, you know, Apple, I was able to pick up for a pretty cheap deal. There are several of uh, stocks I've been able to pick up, and I know you know once all this is said and done, it's going to go right back up because we had a very strong buyer market before this whole coronavirus thing, and I'm expecting that to go right back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and um. So the good thing about a mutual fund is you can invest. You know, I'm gonna say almost however much you want to put in it, and whatever funds you decide to put in, that's what you're going to be able to. Um, to get a certain amount of share for so let me go ahead and I want to go ahead and invest 40 bucks on this actually 
he has to do 40 bucks. So once you type it in, click review order, make sure it's going to give you all the things you need to read to make sure you understand what this means about investing. And then I'm just, for me, none of that stuff applies to me. So I'm going to say continue. And there we go. Oh, place order. All right. So now they're fulfilling my order. So I got one Delta Airlines stock being fulfilled with the idea for my app. And they're currently working on my mutual fund. So that is how if you're trying to get into buying and trading stocks real um, quick on this for TD Ameritrade, you can do that. So one of the things, again, I really enjoy about TD Ameritrade is just the the options and choices you have. It's a lot more um, than you have on Robinhood. But at the same time, I can see why if you came from Robinhood with Simplicity, you can get in real quick. It can be very intimidating. You know, because Robin Hood, I, I give them credit. The guys out there, they create a really good app. Uh, it was it was simple where people can literally invest really, really quick. And you can get into it. Matter of fact, I'm in Robin Hood now. It, it, it was just simplistic. You was able to basically get in, search for the app or the um, what you want to buy, and you can buy real quick. It just, with the, the issue of them having just problems as of late, it, you know, with their app and just shutting down and the shares, not shares, but their servers not working. For me, I just didn't feel comfortable with spending any more or putting any more of my money into their app because I was just sitting here like, all right, when are we going to have problems again? When are we going to see this become a problem where it's going to get in the way of me either investing or being able to sell. You know, if you're in a buyer's market right now, you want to catch it just right. You don't want to wait too long because that is how you miss out on opportunities. But at the same time, when a market is plummeting, you definitely want to be able to, to dump shares if you need to, to minimize the amount of money you lose. And if you're not able to do that because for whatever reason, it's just not working, the server is down, the app's not working, it's costing you money. And, you know, one time is one thing, but, you know, these guys were having to happen two, three, four times, and they keep saying, you know, all right, we got it right, we got it fixed. But for me, you know, after the first time, I was already looking, and I didn't stick around for the second time, but after seeing the second time, third time happen, I made it clear, you know, I'm, I was done. I think they still have me investing in like 50 cents of something. You know, I tried to basically pull out all my money and I was basically looking at closing this thing down completely. Now, I would say this. I do like their interface a little bit better as far as just um, the overall being able to get into stocks and jump in real, real quick. The problem is, like I said, that I just don't trust them. And because of that, there's just no way I can either advise myself or anyone else put any more money into Robinhood, at least until they have a really solid fix and something in place. But TD Ameritrade, these guys have been around for a while. You know, they know what they're doing. And through this whole stock plummeting up and down, I've yet had any issue with it. You know, when I had my issue with Robinhood and I went on Twitter and it was looking around, seeing what other people were using and seeing what suggestions. I tried the Wee Bull. I tried the other ones. You know, I just looked, went to TD Ameritrade, and I felt like when you open their app, you can tell that these guys know what they're doing. They got the thing set up to make sure that you can take full advantage of investing. And, you know, with all the choices you have, it's going to force you to do some research because you can do just so much through both their app and through their website. And if you're about investing, you know, you're going to want these options and choices that that you can choose from, you know, option trading, if you're into that. But at the same time, for people like me who came from Robinhood, who just want to get in and trade, you know, simple. You just want to be able to do it yourself. You don't want to have to go to a broker. You don't want to pay all these brokerage fees. You just want to get in, buy whatever you want, sell whatever you want, and be able to take the risk and learn from your mistakes. This was this is about this is what I think with Robinhood really excel that it allowed young people, millenniums, 
to be able to get in and invest and not have to deal with all the stuff that our parents had to deal with, have to find someone who wants to talk to you this or, or, or sell you a certain stock that they're interested in. Instead, it forces you to do your own research, to, to start looking into what's actually, you know, working. You know, it, it forced me to start looking at some of these, uh, financial channels more and go to more of these financial articles and start reading more. And also just obviously look around to see what people have in their hands. You know, obviously, even though I'm a big Android fan, I know Apple is making money. So I know the thing for me, like when Apple finally got to a point where they stopped plumbing, I'm like, this is a good time to buy at a very cheaper rate and, and it catch right up on the upswing because you know Apple is going to recover. People are going to buy the iPhone in the fall. You know, especially if, if this whole coronavirus thing is over by the summer and we back to work and we're, you know, seeing the economy recover and people, you know, got money in their pocket and they feel like, all right, you know, the, the economy is stable again and we feel like we're we're at, at a comfortable place. People are going to buy the new iPhone. They do that every year. You know, people line up for this phone. They don't quite line up for the Pixel phone. They don't quite line up for you know, the Galaxy phones, because, you know, there's so many Galaxy phones, but they line up for that new iPhone and the new iPad. So I definitely want to go ahead and make sure I'm able to take advantage of that. Same thing with the airline stocks. You know, right now, even though they're, they're, they're plummeting, you know people are going to want to travel. and it's, it's 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 inevitable. You know, when, again, I'm, I'm talking about when all this coronavirus stuff is over and we're back to normal. You know, football season come around. Hey, people like to travel for that. And, you know, you got all these conferences. You got all this stuff that's going to, it's going to resume. And again, especially now with all of us being cooped in, we're a lot of us forced on lockdown. We're, we're kind of stuck indoors. Man, the moment, you know, it's all clear. They say, hey, all clear. We good, ready to go. And we get money in our pocket. The next thing people are going to do, they're going to get out. I mean, they're going to want to go. They're going to fly. They're going to do it. And, you know, I definitely want to make sure I'm taking advantage of that by investing in stocks that's going to, you know, we know want to just kind of rise right back up. But anyway, this went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but this was meant to be a tutorial for those of you guys coming from Robin Hood. You see the TD Ameritrade app, and it's a little bit intimidating because it got so much going on, but it really provides the same uh, amount of ability to trade. And actually, it provides more. It gives you more options. And you just got to get around to all this other stuff and get to the simple thing, which what you want to do is be able to trade. And this tutorial will help you get to that and get you going. But that's all I got, guys. Have a good day. I'm out.